Hi, and welcome to our next OWA Live segment. We had a lot of good questions submitted, but today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm sitting here in our Farmington office, and I was meeting with a client today who asked me a question about credit cards. She said, Gage, I have an old credit card that I don't use anymore. What should I do with it? I kind of think I want to cancel it, but I've heard that that might not be a good thing. What should I do? We'll come back to her question here in just a second. But what I thought it would be good to do is talk a little bit about how your credit score is calculated. There are six factors, three that are considered high impact and three that are considered medium to low impact. The three most important factors, number one, payment history. We want payment history higher than 98%. 100% is ideal. If you can have a perfect payment history, that's a good thing. Uh, high impact factor number two, credit card usage. They look specifically at the balances of your credit cards and how much credit usage you have and determine based off of that percentage what that kind of looks like. Ideally, you want 10% or less. You don't want to be using more than 10% of the total balance of all of your credit cards. That's high impact. Uh, piece number three, derogatory marks, things like bankruptcies uh, or liens, tax liens. You want to avoid those as much as possible. If you have even one or two of those show up, that can have a, a tremendous um, impact on your overall credit score. The other three factors that uh, have lower or lesser impact, uh, credit age, which for the client that I'm talking about, that was the specific one. We'll talk about that in just a second. Total accounts, they want to look at all the different kinds of accounts. They look for a variety. So we need fixed and variable um, credit, credit uh, resources, uh, variable or rotating like credit cards or lines of credit where the amount that we owe continually changes and something that's a little bit more static like a car loan. That, that balance doesn't ever go up, it just goes down as we pay it. And the last is hard inquiries. A lot of people think that this has a higher impact, it really doesn't. This is when you go into the bank and have them pull your credit. Now I want to clarify here, a hard impact, a hard inquiry is different than what's called a soft inquiry. If you go to check your credit score online, that does nothing to affect your, your credit score. There's no negative effect. If you go to the bank and have them, like say I'm applying for a new loan, I want them to check my credit score, that's called a hard inquiry. That does have a small impact, but not nearly as dramatic as most people think. Now let's jump back here. So talking about credit age, this client who was saying, I wanna cancel this card. When I was 18 years old, I started working for Kirtland Credit Union and right when I started, I opened up a credit card. That credit card I still have in place. I never use it, but that credit card I keep in place because it has all of my credit usage back to the time that I was 18 years old. If I were to cancel that card, all of a sudden, all of that history disappears. Now that's true for all of you out there too. Let's say you've had a credit card for 20 or 30 or 40 years, and out of the blue, you decide to cancel it. Well, if you cancel it, then all of that credit history goes away. Not saying that that can have a negative effect, uh, but it definitely doesn't help your credit score. So if you're not paying any kind of annual fee or anything like that, you should keep those, those credit cards for as long as possible. Make sure that you have a variety of different credit. For those of you who are just starting out, you think I'm just gonna get a credit card and start working off that, that's a good way to start. But it would also be good to get maybe some kind of personal signature loan or maybe a car loan, something that's a little bit more static. Uh, it's good to have that different variety. Avoid derogatory marks at all costs. And uh, kind of an interesting strategy, a lot of people will say, what can I do to increase my credit score? One of the most important things that you can do, and this is kind of counterintuitive and takes a little bit of, uh, a little bit of work and discipline on your part, but ask your credit card suppliers if they will increase the allowance that they give you. Let's say they give you a $5,000 balance that you could use. If you use $1,000 of that $5,000 balance, according to how your credit score is calculated, the credit card usage is gonna be at 20%. That's too high. If you have them bump that $5,000 limit up to $10,000, all of a sudden your credit card usage has gone down. So ask your credit card companies if they'll increase your limits, but then have the discipline not to spend it. Keep an eye on your credit score. Um, down below, we'll link uh, a resource that we use, creditkarma.com. It's a free resource. I think everyone should sign up and look once a month at their credit score just to make sure that there isn't anything squirrely going on. And uh, make sure that you're working constantly to improve your credit score because that really affects our lives. It affects the interest rates that we get and affects the ability that we have to borrow money. So keep those questions coming. Uh, thank you for submitting those questions. We'll be looking forward to answering your OWA Live segment questions next week.